A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> Moses spoke to all the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up from among your own kin. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord your God at Pharaoh. On the day of the assembly when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see his great fire anymore, lest we die. The Lord said to me, That is well. I will raise them up, a prophet like you from among their kin, and will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name, an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 The responsorial psalm is, if you hear, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today he hears his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in Mirabah and, as the, and in the day of Messiah in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they see, seek my words. If today you hear my his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I should like you to be free of anxieties. An odd married man is anxious about the things of the Lord and how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about things of the world and how he may please his wife, and he is divided. A non-married woman or virgin is anxious about things of the Lord, so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint upon you for the sake of prosperity and hear to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 The people who sit in darkness have seen great light on those dwelling in the land overshadowed by death. Light has arisen. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In the synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him, and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching 
with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Today we reflect on the simple theme of the gospel, authority. The word authority in the first part of the gospel. The people were astonished, for he told them as one having authority and not as the scribes. The scribes were, they had their formal education. The people were astonished. For he told them as one having authority. Why would people, or what did people see in the Lord that they realized he taught them with authority? This man having no no formal education compared to the scribes. In the last part of the gospel, he commands all were amazed and asked one another, what is this? A new, a new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and obey him. The authority. In Pope Paul VI said, Modern man listen to witnesses rather than to teachers. Modern man listen to witnesses rather than to teachers. And this is what this is what the people saw in the Lord, notice in the Lord, learn from the Lord as witness. Having authority as witness. Amen. Amen. Are you there? Yes. I have a I have a very I have a friend. I have, I have known a person. I knew this person very well. And his experience was when he started to when he started to drink and drink very well. <laughs> drink and drink very well. He, he was asked by his father, why did, you, why did you start drinking? And he said, you taught me. You, took, you taught me how to drink. You taught me how to drink. So his, his father uh, approached him about his drinking, but he said, you taught me how to drink. So the father just kept quiet, something like that. So how did authority was was the authority of the Lord? He was doing what he was saying. His words were coupled with actions. And this is our challenge in our celebration today. To have that authority. And how to have that authority in our daily lives, in the gospel. The unclean spirit said, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. This unclean spirit, you the Lord, who he was. The question is, how do we know how deep is our knowledge of the Lord? Hello. 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 How deep is our knowledge of the Lord that we can we cannot be defeated by this unclean spirit? <laughs> Maybe the other spirits knew the Lord more than us. The other people knew the Lord more than us. We must know the Lord so that we can draw that authority from Him. We can be credible witnesses. And so the first reading said. Be prophets. Be prophets. Meaning, to be a prophet 
is to say only what the Lord wants you to say. In, in the first reading, he said, But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name, an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, he shall die. So be prophets. What the Lord wants you to say, just say it. Don't say other things. Don't presume. Sometimes we presume. Sometimes we assume. You are not a true prophet. Amen. Amen. In the second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, he said, But for, I am telling you this for your own benefit, for an adherence to the Lord without distraction. Meaning, be anxious, married man and unmarried man, and married man, and married woman, and married woman are anxious of the things where they are put to the Lord. So be anxious only to where you are, to where God puts you. That's the only place, place that you are, that you should be anxious about. I'm a husband. I should be anxious to be a husband. My wife, I'm a priest. I should be anxious to be a priest. I'm a wife. I should be anxious to be a wife. I'm a mother of the, my children. I should be anxious. I am a teacher. I'm a public servant. I should be anxious to be who I am. And that's what the, the second reading said. And that's having authority to be firm of what God, of what the mission God gives you to do what God has commanded you. And to have that credibility, to have that authority, to be a witness, to learn from Him. And so how, how do we draw how to listen to him? How do we draw that knowledge, that credibility from the Lord? By prayer, study, studying scriptures, praying, pray the rosary, attend the mass, read the Bible, know the Lord, knowledge of the Lord. This is what our our celebration today invites us to be always credible witnesses, having our authority from the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.